Jim Jordan has been nominated as the GOP House Speaker. Now, let's talk about this. Let's break this down. And let me say this. <laughs> oh, man. I, I love it, love it, love it when Democrats get pissed off, man. I, I do. Especially the extreme um, the extreme left, okay? The far lefties. You know what I'm saying? I don't like hate Democrats or nothing like that. But I just can't stand the hypocrisy of these people. I just watched the whole thing. I don't know how I got through it. But I watched um, Hakeem Jeffries' uh, speech. Now, these two individuals I'm getting ready to talk about, Keem Jeffries and um, Jim Jordan, I've lived in both of these states. I've lived in Ohio for a little bit, not that long, and then I lived in New York State, so I know these two dudes, right? Uh, Hakeem Jeffries, I like to call him the discount uh, Barack Obama. Uh, when he talks, he's always moving his arms, and you know, uh, let's just say he's the, the, the not as good looking, not as articulate, cornball version of, of Barack Obama, okay? The discount Barack Obama. Anyways, he came out there um, in front of the in front of the, in front of Congress, and all the Democrats, of course, these guys are all on the same page. They were, they were all there. The whole caucus was there, standing behind him, and he just went up there and just completely lied to the American people. Just completely lied. He said all these things that basically they don't do, and some of the good Republicans do. Right? Accused of. So funny how the how. The lefties do that. Whatever they accuse you of, that's what they're doing. You guys know the rules. Anyways, he is pissed off that Jim Jordan is the nominee, and that's how you know you got the right nominee. See, the problem with these Democrats is they shot themselves in the foot. They hate Republicans so bad, even Kevin McCarthy, because you can never go left enough or far left enough, because Kevin McCarthy was a rhino. You know what I'm saying? He, he was, I'd say, 10, 15 percent of, of, of a Democrat himself. Um you know, he's establishment. Uh, he, he played not both sides, but like five or six different sides, Kevin McCarthy. So instead of saying, you know what, let, let's let's keep him in because he is giving us what we want. And we know we won't have a MAGA extremist or a extremist uh, be the speaker. The Democrats instead turned their back on, um, <laughs> on, on Kevin McCarthy. And good, by the way. I'm loving it. So now that they turned their back on him. Uh, the Republicans said, well, you know, we'll not, we'll nominate something else. And Scalise won the first round of, of votes the other day, and then he dropped out. And then, uh, Jim Jordan is now the, uh, nominee. And I think you'll get it. It'll take a while. Uh, but I think you'll get it once they get to the floor. And what I mean by the floor is not going out in the basement, just go up there and, and in front of the American people, get out there and vote. So I can see who didn't vote for them and who did, and then let them explain themselves. Why I don't care who you vote for. Actually, that's a lie. I do. Um, but if you're still voting for Kevin McCarthy or you're trying to go against the American people, because, again, when the quote unquote uh, extreme eight that voted uh, against Kevin McCarthy, uh, you know, when they were going off on them for a week. Now, let's see how you act when you don't get your boy in and then Jim Jordan is in and you don't vote for him because there's going to be a, a faction. I guarantee you this a faction of people that don't vote for him. Uh, are you ready to, um, you know, get what you took out? To the, to the eight. But anyways, because they're going to get it too. And now, stupid ass Akeem uh, Jeffries is now asking some Republicans to get on their side and vote him in as a speaker. Are you... F I'm telling you this right now. Now, I'm not saying it's not going to happen, okay? Because you got some rhinos and you got some... You got some establishment Republicans in there. I'm telling you this right now. If any Republican... And again, I'm not a Republican, Okay. I'm America first, and the only way we can get close to being America first, and not this Marxist party, because that's what the that's what the left is now. It's a Marxist, socialist, communist party. Period. End of story. And we know that. If any of those Republicans vote for Hakeem Jeffries, which I'm praying that they don't. Oh my God, this country's lost, man. This country's absolutely lost. I, I swear, man. My Lord. Anyways. So Jim Jordan, uh, he's the man that doesn't really want the job. He originally went up there. He says, you know what? Let me let me try to do it. But then he ended up voting for Scalise. He's just a guy that works his ass off. He's a former wrestler. And listen, man, this is a tough job. This is one of the toughest jobs, if not the toughest job, besides probably being the president uh, in Congress, being the House Speaker. It, it just is. You got you, you to gotta travel 300-something days out of the year. 
You got to go a lot of different places, see a lot of people, do a lot of things, deal with a lot of people. You got to do a lot of stuff, man. And you got to deal with all these different personalities. And the strongest mind for me, the strongest body, and the strongest conviction of America, hands down, is Jim Jordan. He should get the job. And that's how you know you got the right speaker. When the Democrats start tripping out and getting mad, that's when we know that we're close to being winning. Again, I'm not a Republican. I'm American first in this in this Constitution, and Jim Jordan constantly brings that up. So now you know when they start bashing them and going off on them. And watch Fox News, by the way. Let's see what Fox News got to say about this. I guarantee they're not happy. They weren't happy when Kevin McCarthy went out. Again, just because someone claims to be a Republican does not mean they love America and they care about you. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. This is great news, all right? Let's see what happens. Peace and love, guys.